Hey, good evening. I would like to bring you a word of encouragement today from the Word of God. You know, all of us go through trials and tests, but I want you to remember one thing. Jesus cares, and not only does He care, but He's able to help you because He is our High Priest. He's not like an Old Testament High Priest who brought bull blood of bulls and goats to cover sin. He was our High Priest who by His own blood took away the sins of the entire world. He knows what you're going through. In Hebrews 4.15 we read, We do not have a High Priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. So you say, Nobody understands what I'm going through, but Jesus does. He, the word sympathize in Greek has a prefix which means with or co, as we would say in English, and then a root word that says to suffer. So he literally co-suffers with you. Whatever you're feeling, he feels if you've received Jesus. If Jesus Christ is in you, if you have received him as your savior, then he is your high priest and he co-suffers with you. The pain you feel and the joy you feel. All of this rises and falls together because He is the head and we are the body. He loves to help us. He feels exactly what you're feeling. When it says He was tempted in all points like as we are, it was all points. He suffered rejection all His life from the time He was a baby. His own brothers rejected Him. He was, his life was sought from the time he was born. They tried to kill him. They falsely accused him. They ridiculed him. And he went all the way to the cross and suffered the suffocation there. And before he got to the cross, he had his skin beat off of him, Isaiah 52. His visage was so marred more than any man. With those stripes, we are healed. And he bore all the wrath of God for all our sins. All the wrath of God was poured out on Jesus Christ in a single day for all the sins of the world. So he bore the guilt, he bore the shame, he bore the pain, he bore the suffering. He understands. When it says he was tempted in all points like we are, C.S. Lewis said this in his book, Mere Christianity. It's like a man going up a steep hill with a fierce wind blowing against him. That's temptation. So we try and we fall down and we get up a little later and we try again and we fall down. But Jesus never fell down. And therefore, we don't know the full extent of the temptation like he does. He kept going and kept going and kept going. He is the head, we are the body. The head suffers with the body. He knows what you're going through. Won't you go to Jesus? Won't you go talk to him? He already knows what you're going through anyway. He will come down into the pit where you are and lift you up and give you strength.